You look at it from the front and say, sure, I know that. You look at the silhouette and say, hey, something's different about it. But when you look at it from the back, it's impossible to miss. This is a completely new Porsche. Porsche has completely reinvented the second-generation Panamera, both in visual and in technical terms, taking it another step further. The Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo is the first car of its kind, with a unique design and the typical performance of a Porsche, and highly suitable for everyday use. It makes a statement in the luxury segment. In 2010, soon after the first Panamera had been launched, we asked ourselves, how will this story continue? What ought to come next? Actually, this is something you always hope for as a designer. For the boss of the company to come into the design department and say, we have a car, now show me what else we can do based on this. We came up with various different derivatives, which we also visualized in the studio, building full-scale models, and this led us to an entire family of Panamera vehicles. Looking at so many different derivatives, one idea that stood out particularly for me was that of the Sport Turismo. For one thing, we were very excited about the look of the car its proportions. It was this combination where you sensed that it was a sports car, but in a segment that is not normally predestined for or known for sports cars. The idea of producing a Sport Turismo in the luxury segment was one that came to fruition at Porsche over a period of many years. A study at the Paris Motor Show back in 2012 opened a new chapter in the language of Porsche design. The reactions were very positive, with many people even going so far as to say that they never imagined that this type of body style could be designed to look so sportive. First of all, it's a typical Porsche. It starts with the car's proportions, which give a very low-slung impression. There is the look of the side window, and above all, of course, the way the roof slopes down towards the rear, which comes from the sports cars, something we describe as the fly line. Another new feature at the rear of the vehicle is the spoiler. Here, we have an adaptive roof spoiler. When the roof is closed, it ensures that the downward thrust is adjusted optimally at all speeds. When the roof is open, it's extended even further to compensate for the lift generated by the turbulence. The Sport Turismo is the newest member of the Panamera family. In technical terms, it is based on the young second generation of sports saloons. The range of engines begins with a V6 turbo petrol engine, generating 330 horsepower and a torque of 450 Newton meters. The V6 twin turbo petrol engine of the Panamera 4S Sport Turismo produces 440 horsepower and 550 Newton meters. Right from the start, a new performance oriented plug in hybrid hybrid drive by Porsche will be available, with a power of 462 horsepower and a torque of 700 Newton meters. The Panamera 4E hybrid Sport Turismo can travel more than 50 kilometers on electrical power only. The top model is the Panamera Turbo Sport Turismo. Thanks to its V8 twin turbo petrol engine with a capacity of 4 liters, it can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 3.6 seconds reaching top speeds of 304 kilometers per hour. The V8 twin-turbo engine of the Panamera 4S diesel Sport Turismo generates a particularly high torque of 850 Newton meters. It produces 422 horsepower. The standard models of the Sport Turismo 
are all fitted with a four-wheel drive, and all the chassis options that are available in the sports saloon, such as three-chamber air suspension, rear-wheel steering, and electrical roll stabilization, which is also available as an option in the Sport Turismo. In the Panamera Sport Turismo, form and function enter into a kind of symbiosis never seen before in this class of vehicle. The novel design goes hand in hand with a high level of suitability for everyday use and of variability. Starting with the 4 plus 1 seats, the folding variable rear bench seat, the new fifth seat and the larger boot with its lower sill and distinctly higher usability. The new digital Porsche Advance cockpit has also found its way into the Panamera Sport Turismo, of course. State-of-the-art infotainment and connectivity services are perfectly integrated here. The heart of the cockpit is the 12.3-inch touchscreen display, running the latest generation of the Porsche's communication management. The PCM includes such features as online navigation, extensive interfaces and voice control. I just love this car. I find it incredibly attractive, and I believe that this vehicle really has the potential to change the way in which cars like this are perceived. The promise made by the study in Paris in 2012 has now become a reality. The Panamera Sport Turismo, the first and only one of its kind in the luxury segment.